Hey what is going on guys this is the life Hacks and today I have a very special video for you guys and that will be how you can install hacking tool inside your windows machine or even you guys can even call you know how you can install the penetration testing tools inside your uh, windows box so that you guys can test or penetration or do some penetration testing on your windows machine so with that to say let's get us started so first thing that you want to go to your google chrome or any web, uh, web browser do you have so uh, so and then you want to go to this website it's called the pentestbox.org so this is basically the software it would allow you guys to install the hacking tools inside your windows machine so uh, which i mean that uh, you guys can even have the kali linux tools like you know metasploit a lot of tools that that has been found on the kali linux so you guys can install this out so what is pentestbox actually and it is the open source pre-configured portable version of the Pinterest and testing environment for your Windows operating system. So before we go into download this, we want to check the features, okay? So if you guys click on the feature, you will see that it is also the easy to use because it do have a really, really, uh, you know, simply uh, command line utility and they give you okay. So and it do have a really small and beautiful design with the uh, green terminal and it do have a high performance that means you guys really don't need to install uh, virtual machine so that you can gain uh, you know maximum performance for to get um, on the Pinterest and test um, box okay so that you guys can go ahead and uh, launch your Pinterest box really quickly and it it also don't need any kind of a dependency uh, it has already been fetched from uh, the install it or pre-build um, tools okay and not only that you guys can even use this as a portable version as you guys can see that it's on a portable so what that as a portable means is so if you guys are on the go or you are you are on the vacation or on a tour and you guys want to launch the you know pendis box then you guys can do that as well just install and extract on your usb drive and then you guys can uh, use it really uh, easily okay and uh, it do have a uh, Linux utility like it do have you know like nano and Veeam also the Atom notepads and it do have also the um, change mode and and even it do contain a uh, vast shell okay and for more you guys can even also look on the tools section over here to get all of the Linux utility and not only that it do not need uh, any kind of driver so it's all been supported um, from the pre-build so but if you guys have the um, graphics like the Nvidia then it will use a cutter to crack uh, some kind of password using the rainbow cracker or you know Hydra or something like that okay so uh, so it also contain the modular and uh, what it means is you can learn the tool manager from the modular and you guys can install on install and also you guys can up to date your, your tool okay so and it also do uh, use the less memory uses so it means that you your so this is not a system hunger uh, software that it use you know like a heck of the ram uh, like you know adobe premiere like that so it's a really really small program you guys can use this on you know any kind of computer and it also do require really really less uh, less disks of your hard disk uh, maybe like a 5 gigabyte, okay, and it do have the uh, Mozilla Firefox as the pre-built and built browser And you guys can even um, do this update feature, okay, so And not only that you guys can even also share on your network So what it means is uh, you guys really don't need to uh, install on the East computer if you guys do have it, you know like a cyber cafe then you want to install in all computer so instead of that so instead of that you guys can just um, install on one computer and share that file and share that and you guys can share the pen test box on the your network and you guys could access from any kind of computer so it is also designed for the 32 bit system and so that it supports for the low end pc as well so you guys can launch on any computer <laughs> so and not only that you guys can also uh, watch this video uh, by the Aditya Agarwal, he have done this video. So, uh, so this is all of its feature. So you guys can go ahead and you know you guys can download this out. Just click and download, and it will take you to download. So there are the two options for download as well. So one is the just pen text box, and and another is the pen text box with a metasploit. So you guys can also find a different between on uh, each of them. So the pen text box 
only so so only the panties box it don't carry the metal exploit and it's um it's also the uh, really small on a file but if you guys want to download with the metal exploit like i have downloaded okay so i also highly recommend you guys to use with the metal exploit because the metal exploit is also a great tool you know so uh you guys can download uh, whatever your it's the choice is yours and if you guys are using with the metasploit okay so now the difference here so if you guys are using the pentest box with the metasploit then you need to turn off uh, your antivirus and the firewalls as well because you know that a metasploit carry a lot of exploit and it do have a lot of payloads as well and your antivirus may promise the uh, it do have a hacking tool hack uh, it do have the virus or trojan backdoor okay uh, something like that okay so you need to turn it off your firewall and your antivirus okay and so you just you guys want to do is click and download and you guys can download it's really easy okay so just click and agree and you guys can download from the source first as it's uh, open source as well so uh, I have just downloaded right now you guys can see this one so after you download you will get the panties box with this and and know that uh, this is really big file as well as you guys can see it's like a 2 gigabyte of the file so it will take some time to download so you guys can go ahead and download this okay so I just um, download this so I really don't need to download this okay so so I'll be showing you how you can install this okay so before we get installed as you guys can see that um, I'm using the Metasploit version so if you guys are also been downloading the Metasploit version then you guys really need to turn off your antivirus like a Windows Defender or uh, if you guys do have a uh, you know a vast Avira or any kind of shit and virus you do have just turn it off okay so I'll be showing you how you can um, turn off your Windows Defender okay by default you guys can't um, you know turn it off so I just recommend you guys to uh, turn it off using the group editor okay using the group policy editor so you guys can go to run and type in gpedit.msc so the command input on the run it will be also in my description down below just press on ok once you are done and now you wanna go to your computer configuration over here and you wanna go to administrative templates and from that you wanna go to uh, windows components and from that uh, you will find a lot of um, the program that's over here so you can find the Windows Defender over here okay so just go ahead and open a Windows Defender and over here you guys can see that turn off Windows Defender so just double click on that and you want to uh, check on the enable um, so you want so you just want to check on the enable and then you want to click and apply and press on ok and that should turn off your Windows Defender so now whenever you guys open your Windows Defender you guys can see that it's been turned off by the group policy so now it's been turned off and now let's go ahead and uh, turn off your firewall as well so how you can turn off firewall is you wanna uh, go to your control panel so I do have a control panel here so you guys can go to your control panel and you wanna view this all settings over here and you wanna go to this windows firewall and you want to click on this one it would say that it would turn off the windows okay so and so then you want to turn it off all of okay you just want to turn it off and note guys so I just recommend you guys to turn it off okay your Windows Defender and firewall just while you are using the uh, Pentest box okay and just press on okay and there we go so you guys can see that the Windows um, firewall has been successfully turned off so now you guys can go ahead and install your Pentest box so to install you just need to uh, do is um, open it up and so the file path was been on the C drive and as the admin Aditya Agrawal he have told on his video that if we change to the uh, another drive it will uh, be you know like a problem sometimes so so it's highly recommend you guys to use just to see as a default so don't manipulate this so just go ahead and extract on your C drive and click on extract this might take you some time because it's a really uh, big file as you guys can see it's about to be a uh, 2.12 gigabyte so you need to be a uh, patient right now okay and I'll be just doing a fast forward as possible so, alright guys so if you guys have just installed your paint this box on your computer then now you want to go to the C drive so let's go to your C drive and you will see the box called Pentest box okay so you want to go over there and you want to launch the Pentest box from here okay so just uh, right click and open it up and that will launch you as the Pentest box 
Okay, so you guys can see this is the terminal, uh, green terminal. You guys can maximize this from uh, clicking this button, or also you guys can uh, press an Alt and plus Enter to maximize this, like this one. Uh, you guys can also simply use this. Okay, so it's um, same like your Windows, you know. So you will get this uh, terminal, and but you know you want to uh, launch a tool so how you can launch a tool so first um, so first thing is that you want to know some commands okay uh, at its so it basically give you a command like you know list to view all the tools so let's use the list okay you guys can see that you guys can go to you know and you guys can go to one by one or if you guys don't really want to do that um, then you can also uh, directly um, directly open your favorite tools okay so let's open the MS console MSF console okay it's a uh, metasploit so as we have uh, disabled the antivirus and the firewall then then this will launch the MSF console really easily so it's been launching right now So if you try to open the you know heavy heavy tool, then it should take a little bit time, but it will open the you know this one. So let it be running right now. And as you guys can see that um, it's just open it as the Metasploit, and you guys can just type an exit to exit your Metasploit console. But it will take some time, you know, because the Metasploit tool is really really heavy. So, you, uh, so the Metasploit to launch the Metasploit it should take uh, you know a little bit, okay, a little bit of time. Or you guys can also launch the tools like the Burp Suite. As you guys can see, you just open up the Burp Burp Suite. And it's on the Java, right? So if you want to close this application, then you guys can't close it from here. So you guys can just close your Java console like this, and if it asks you for uh, you want to, um, you know, exit it out or not, then you guys can just click in yes, and there we go. So um, if you want to clear your terminal, then you guys can use this clear command, like uh, this one, and. Um, so if you guys want to use the notepad then you guys can do open your atom over here and you guys can um, use the atom over here okay so uh, it will take some time but you guys could see that okay so it depends on your computer how fast or how freaking slow is the computer and there we go so if you, uh, you want to open your project and you want to do some shit of thing so to close this, you can uh, just exit it out. Um, okay, so uh, if you guys also uh, want to open it, you know, like an SQL map tool, then you guys can go ahead and open that as well. So you guys could see that uh, you can do anything, okay? So this is pretty similar to, uh, you know, Kali Linux uh, terminal. So guys, some tools also uh, require you guys to uh, use the admin privilege. So to do that, just right click on the console or CMD and you want to uh, go to the restart or duplicate and uh, restart ad and you guys can click on the restart as the admin. And you want to click on yes, it will pop up for you guys and there we go. As you guys can see, you are admin right now. So. Uh, this is how you can uh, get the admin um, grant so so uh, let's say guys if you want to update you want to type is update okay so just like that and press an uh, enter and it will place its own um, you know repository from the github and that will show it is all okay so if you want to update all then you want to type is update all or if you just want to update you know this thing like uh, only a single thing you know single tools then you guys can do that as well uh, but the thing is that you can't copy here so instead of doing copy uh, you want to just um, select this and you want to right click uh, this um, text and you will paste it over here and you want to press an enter uh, but okay so so I think it, I left on here uh, so I left here space so make sure that it's been case sensitive as it's the command and you want to paste it on and it should fetch origin and do something and there we go so you guys can see that it's been updated on the config so for the more commands you guys can go to their website and you want to launch um, learn from this uh, tool 
okay so just go to this tool and you will be redirect to this website okay so this web page and uh, it's the same page okay so no matter what so uh, you guys can see that uh, if you want to uh, learn to SQL map as we have just uh, you know learned some before you guys just want to type this SQL map and and you guys can also see that here are the category of the tool and for the specific tool you guys can go to specific um, category and then you guys can and you guys can uh, type on the command and bring up your uh, awesome tools from here so it's that's easy to install the pentest box on a computer and launch you know um, the tools like group suite for the pentesting okay so um so there are a lot of tools you guys could learn okay as you guys can see there are a ton of tool that's been pre-installed on the pentest box you guys really don't need to install anything as well uh, if you need then you guys can go ahead on your toolbox and and you guys can go ahead and update it, you know, from the tool manager as well. So uh, it's that easy, guys. So I think so. This video really help you out. So if you guys do have any problem while during the installation uh, with the Pentest box, you guys can join their forum. So just uh, click on forum, and that should redirect you guys to their Google forum. So just um, choose on new topic and join the group post, and they should reply you guys as soon as possible. So you know. So you guys could uh, join the forum to ask some question if you guys do have any I know like a problem if you guys do have a problem to that okay so I think so this video really helped you out if you guys found this video really helpful and informative for you guys then let me know in a comment down below as well and also uh, give a like to this video but if you guys want you know like a complete Kali Linux um, tool on your uh, Windows then it's not possible, but if you guys use the um, the Linux distro like Ubuntu then you guys can get it So just go to my channel and you guys can search like the Kali Linux tool and it will bring you this video um, How to install Kali Linux tool on your Ubuntu So I use the tool from the lion's sake um, on the github so you guys could check his uh, tool uh, with its tool you guys could install all of the Kali Linux uh, tool because it's gonna fetch you know Kali 2.0 uh, repository so you guys can get every tool that's been installed on your Kali okay so I think so this video really helped you out so if you guys did leave a like and comment down below if you guys do have any you know problem leave a comment down below and also don't forget to like this video so if you guys found this video uh, really helpful then don't forget to subscribe as well and ring the not notification bell so yeah thanks for watching guys bye for now and yeah peace out